Hello everybody and welcome to the Steamcraft server. My name is MonPJC and as always I am going to be your host. Let's just cut the music there because we need to be able to hear exactly what's going on in the background here, don't we? We do indeed. A very nice warm welcome to you guys. I hope you're all having a lovely time out there today. Uh, I'm just in the midst of making sure my channel is all set up and ready to go because we don't want any interruptions. There we go. We're live on the Twitch, on the TV. And it sounds like it's raining outside. And I did do some efforts to actually sort of make this a bit better and um, sort the rain out. I did fix the rain problem from last time. Oh, apparently it's something to do with the mod pack that I've been using. So, little, there's a strange noise. Can you hear that? It's a putty cat. There is a putty cat upstairs. Oh, a bit loud. Oh, hitting the red end of the bars on the microphone there. So I've been doing work. Look, look, look. More, more, more chests. Um, chests. Bookcases. More bookcases. I want to do something where you can, like, change the colours. So you get like a variety pack because they're all too symmetrical. So it's nearly done in here. We nearly got all the level we actually need. Did I have got any more on me? Got a few more bits and pieces in here. Let's just tuck that stuff away there. And oh look, we got an iron golem's head. That's because I've got something to show you guys. It's pretty amazing over there. Let's go check out that noise first. Shall I put the iron golem head up there? I need more well, like a museum of heads that we can collect. So let's go up here. Wow, that is noisy. And the reason being... Cats. Yep. We got cats. We own cats. And apparently cats in Minecraft will sleep on your bed. Hello. Hello. Oh, mind the chicken. Hello. Pretty cat. Meow. Meow. Yep, it's raining. Right, uh, so first thing I'm going to do is clear the weather. Because it's horrible, the noise. Actually, I'm pretty sure in here, in my sound and music, there's a... Yeah, the weather. Right, let's get the weather right down to like 30%. There we go, because we can't be doodling... Doob doobling? Doobly doobling with all the noise of that. Where'd the cats go? What have you done? You behave yourself. You're not my cat and my dog anyway. Right, so let's go outside. It's pitch black, but I don't care. I'm brave. Let's see what's been going on. So I've cut down the sugar cane here, mainly because I moved it over here. Now you're in for a bit of a surprise here. This was amazing when I came over here and saw this myself. Yes, look at this. No, I have not gone crazy with iron and made loads of iron golems. This is what the villagers have been doing. Hmm. I kid you not. So let's go over here and have a look. I, I logged in this morning. I had a look at this. I thought I'd just check the villagers, see if they're all okay. Wow. Uh, I didn't realise they'd made their own iron army. Wow. Seriously, look at this. And there's like tons of creepers uh, and stuff roaming around on the outside i'll tell you what they do an uh, awesome job of killing stuff there's some on the outside as well there's skeletons over there look the, the iron golems are probably look there they go look they're closing in no they've obviously killed someone over there but yeah so we've got a few chickens a few more cows a ton of iron golems like crazy dudes what are you doing and they'll be killing all the mobs out there. And sorted out some of the um, sweet berries around the side here. Got that done. Uh, been, oh, excuse me. I should number them like 001, 002. Stuff like that and see where they all come from. Uh, been collecting the wheat. As you can see, we've got a new chap here. I won't wake him up just now. This is a... What do they call him? 
He's like some sort of flint person. What are they? What's it, what's he called? Do you remember? But I put down a load of beds out here because basically there was a lot of them. Did he just hop out of bed? He might have done. This is probably why they're spawning so many iron golems out here because it's getting a little bit scary with the amount of them. Look, there's a few spare beds in here. We can hear another cat somewhere. I like being befriending. A few cats got the hang of it now. No. No more in here. Is it? Seriously? What on earth are you doing up there? Just take the screen cap of that. That's just like... That's nuts. So we've got the smokers in there. Right, okay. Um, I should be putting the meat and food out there. So we've been collecting some different bits and pieces. Did a bit of fishing. I don't know where that cat noise is coming from. It's around here somewhere. Yep, this all looks quite good. I'm going to jump in the bed and sleep. Keep the whole phantoms away. There we go. So, right, these guys are all... Oh, excuse me. Right, these guys are all up. We've got some butchers with some trees. He's a novice. Oh, pork. Do we need... How many butchers have we got? Have we got an excess of butchers? Yeah, you have been trading with... Yep, you have traded with... You, I have not. You take pork. Is there another... Because they seem to be doubling up on the butchers. Yeah, you see? Got like an excess of butchers. I mean, trading with the ones I want to keep. Excuse me. Yep, keeping him. Right, so this... Ah, that's the name. Fletcher. So this guy will like, take sticks, basically. Or emeralds, which I think is a pretty good deal. Oh, that's a sweet deal doing that one. And emeralds and gravel will give me flint, but I could do my own flint. I don't know why I do that. Uh, I guarantee the flint. Well, you guarantee the flint if you mine enough anyway. 26 flint for an emerald. That's rubbish. Two emeralds for a bow. Seriously, dude, you've got to do better prices than that. But these guys are all pretty busy. There's a fair bit of breeding going on over here. I've been trying to keep the wheat down and encourage more farming of the old carrots. Because carrots, carrots, I say, I say, I say again, carrots seem to be the favorite. It's really busy over here. So I think it's about time these villagers started thinking about expanding. What do you think? And the iron golems occasionally take damage on the um, the berries. So like the geese guys, you can't nudge them, but they will sort of fall in the berries and take damage. This guy's been swimming in there for god knows how long. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. But yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it was a nice little farm, and then it's just gone a bit massively chaotic with you guys. I just, it's absolutely nuts. Nuts, 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 I tell you. So, oh, the butcher's checking out the cattle. Don't blame him. So we're just going to do a little bit of breeding, and then we're going to get on to my project which is mainly going to be, uh, there's a cow there, and one there, any more cows, Are you, no, no, I'm going to save that, where the chickens, yeah, chicky, 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 chickens, right, you can have a love egg, you can have some love, and you, there you go, go find your little friend, have babies, um, see what I mean? Look, I wonder if they'll actually. I imagine they'll die eventually in those. Uh, is die to sweet berry bush? Is there anyone else? You lot hearts. 
There isn't another chicken for you to make friends with, is there? Look, we'll just give a load of, to this little guy and he'll grow up quicker. There we go. It's just like, I don't know how much saturation that actually works with, but that, uh, excuse me. My God, it's seriously busy. I mean, this would be all right if it was a, like a, a busy community somewhere, but you know, with these guys running around, absolutely nuts. So I'm only streaming till nine o'clock. Oh. It's, it's nuts. It's just gone absolutely nuts over here. I just, just don't know what to do. Right, so, while these lot are all breeding and doing stuff, I want to start making a village, the primary village area over here. So, obviously I've got to keep this lot separated. I'm going to do that by just leaving like a ferry system to go across here. I think that's probably the easiest thing to do. Uh, but... For now, I'm going to be looking at uh, what I can build over there. I've got a few ideas. I want to dash over there before it starts getting dark. Let's actually swim over there because it's much quicker. There we go. So over in this area, I was having a little bit of a scout round. Where was it? Over here, there was a bit of a tunnel down. I can't remember where it is. It's not that. That's a creeper hole. That's a creeper hole. That looks like a creeper hole. Where was it? Over here somewhere there was like a really deep hole. I think this is it here. Yep, that one there. So this looks like a really deep hole and I thought based on this surrounding area here, it's on the outside of where the, like a city would be and i'm going to surmise that this could have been the, the, the villagers in this area could have decided that this was the entrance to say a mine and that they were going to dig down here so that they could get to a mine and collect coal and stuff and maybe some of their explorations looking down these tunnels sort of like said to them actually look all the way down there next to the zombie is coal and what we actually really need is that coal to create power and build machines and stuff hence the whole uh, steam craft theme that I'm going to run here and of course we've got a river here which is a fantastic opportunity because it's a good source of water the zombies are running around over there so this area here I'm going to mark out with some lights uh, well, some torches. Basically to highlight the fact that this would be somewhere that the villagers would want to explore. And they've obviously got to deal with all those nasty zombies down there at some point or another. So this is going to be like our mine area. So by putting some torches down around this area, we can sort of build some buildings that will be useful for mining. Stuff like that. So that'll be the home of our mine, and we'll work on that in various seasons. So part of this episode, or what I'm going to do tonight, is sort of plan out my build, what I want to do. So that's that little bit there. Now, the other thing that I heard, I can't stand like loose bits like that. They're going to have to mine out this various coal they find. There's a section over the other side of the farm. We'll go back over there in a bit. But round here, I want to check out. There's horses stuck in there. We'll have to grab them and secure them up. Oop, we've got a creeper. Can we take him out? Oh, you moved. Oh, I've just run out of arrows. This is why I want the flint guy, because I'm hoping he's going to give me some flints for killing the... What I need is a skeleton spawner so that I can get loads of arrows and bows and different bits and pieces. But what I was saying was, before I was really interrupted, I really need to sort this lot out as well. Is there a cat in there? There is. I've got my fish on me, I don't. Got some eggs.
cats in there with the chickens. That's not good, is it? No. So, round here. Oop, jump over there. The banks of this river start to get much higher. Shire Fort could be re uh, Halo's been here, look, leaving trees uncut. So the banks get really high round here. We came round here with our boats in one of the episodes. And I thought that what we could actually do round here is build a dam. Because the there's like a really narrow point just here. Go make sure there's no creepers come out on me. So there's a narrow point here, and I thought we could build a dam across here. And this would be a supply of water, and it would allow the, the villagers to raise the water levels up and actually get a stream of water running through, which maybe... Why is my cat following me? We, really loud noises outside my house. Sorry if you can hear that. Um, build a stream of water that goes through, or pipe the water through, so we can power the steam machines that are in this area that they're going to have so I'm just watching for creepers i don't really want to blow stuff up unless i have to the cat's following me so the shoreline around here is fairly high around there this side is a bit lower but we could work with that hello pretty cat yep yeah. You're my friend, apparently. You're going to follow me around. And then down here. Oh, it's getting dark. We're going to have to do something with these areas because the water is going to fill up. But basically, we're going to end up a big reservoir of water around here. Which I think could be pretty cool. So what we should probably do is just mark out where we're going to... Come on. mark out along here where we want to have our dam which is going to be about here and these are like the the core projects that we're going to have to be working on to work out how high to make it so i think probably about that height so we've got one two three four on that side one Is that you walking or something else? One, two, three. One, two, three. So that's the height that we're going to have across there. Right, come on, putty cat. You shouldn't be around here in the dark. I'm sure you'll teleport yourself back. Yeah, and then we can just bring a water stream across here, which will be at a higher level, and it'll look like it's been part of the plan to feed water into this system around here and we're going to build all our base and city and everything around that area there which should be uber cool meantime I'm just going to have a quick nap oh I seem to have an animal in my face I think that's a cat sleeping on my face nudie pretty cats right so, the other area I want to go and check out is way over that side. Because I want to check out some noises that I heard. Oh, bit of rubber banding there. Let's go and have a look, see what I spotted and see if I can hear the same thing again. I have to be careful going over here because I am likely to... Where did I get a rabbit's foot from? Did the cat give me a rabbit's foot? That's actually quite valuable. Oh, good pretty cat. Giving me gifts. Oh, excuse me. Right, sword out probably some hostiles over here some of you guys want to come with me that'd be great so somewhere out here and I'm gonna listen for the sounds again there are cats here
The bats are taking off around this area. What's that up there? Is that another cat? Yeah, there's quite a few cats around this area. Is there something I could do? Is I could get use the cats, tame the cats. They'll scare the um, creepers away. If you didn't know, cat creepers are scared of cats. So we could slowly collect the cats and bring them in. We'll scare them off. Now I'm wandering around over here because when I was over here before, I heard skeletons. So, and I heard quite a few of them. The thing what I might do is if there's a, because I'm wondering whether there's a skeleton spawner over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of like stand here for a minute and just watch this lot and drink my coffee. Because uh, I think that's where they are. I think they're down there somewhere. And if I just stay still, then what will happen is I should... I should be able to load the spawner from this area. Do you have to get no you have to get closer to the spawners, don't you, to get them started. Just drink my coffee. Ooh, la, la. Ah nice bit of coffee. Sit here watching the day go by. Watching about fifty iron golems wandering about. So I guess it could be quite useful if I've got cats following me about because they'll help scare off the um, the skeletons. Right. So over here somewhere there is a skeleton spawner. I'm I'm sure of it because I heard loads of them rattling about. I'm wondering whether it's down this hole. What I might do is I might just put some torches down around here. To remind me to go down here looking for it. Are you my cat? You are, you've got a collar. Hello. Hello guys. Aww. I can click on you and you sit and stay. See, I'm gonna like line you all up around the base to scare the uh, the creepers off. You found anything for me I don't have any fish I'm not gonna give you the rabbit's foot I don't think you want beef do you no yeah um right so now we've got an idea of some of the layout of the area yeah the only thing is the little cat noises like scare you a bit mm. Should we go mining and see if we can find this spawner? I suppose the key thing to do is take some materials. Hmm. Yes, I think. Well, it could have been just her skeletons down there spawning. It's taken a long time to die. Oh, there we go. He did. Right. So, we've got a load of bamboo back over there. So I'm going to get the bamboo to use that as a ladder to go down. And I'm also going to look for... What do I need? Do I need anything? Um, no, I've got food. I'm just going to go and get a load of, bam load of bamboo. Let's do that. Let's hop back over here at great speed. Thank you. And I think I might... Oh my god, I can't believe such a busy area. Excuse me. That's the flint person out there making stuff. Oh, I've got one stick of bamboo in here. Um, anything else? I might take the crafting bench with me, because that could be useful. Um... 
blocks of dirt are always good. I've got some of those. I'll go and cut that stuff out there. We're not offering anything any good. Oh, are you working, sir? You are. Climb through, everyone. So I'm going to go and cut the bamboo down and make a low... I haven't got any... I don't know if I've got... Oh, I can find spiders on the way. Oh, there's a cat in there. Is he a stuck cat? Yep, I think he was a stuck cat. Hello there, Jamie. Welcome to the stream. It's no problem. It's nice to have someone come back. And i you've just actually managed to um, test out my stream sounds. So welcome to the Steamcraft server, as I am now calling it. Because I'm a bit of a steampunk fan, you see. Whilst Minecraft has got a lovely look to it, the sort of medieval builds and stuff like that, I like the idea of uh, having a bit of a steampunky thing going on. And we've got an iron golem army around us. This this was not my doing. This was the villagers. This is what happens when you put them in a field surrounded by darkness, I guess. And all they can see is zombies coming after them at night during the when you're in the spawn chunks. So yeah, it all went a bit crazy. So I'm just about to go on a mission to go and try and find what I believe is the origins of a skeleton spawner. Yeah, I do like playing on a server. The, the main reason I have a server was is historical, really. Uh, myself, well, my son introduced me to Minecraft about 2013. And we all sort of like wanted to play together. So there was me, him and my daughter. And we all liked playing Minecraft and thought it'd be good fun. And I used to have a old computer which I was running Linux on for doing like my website and my email server. Just gonna look see if I've got any string in here. Oh, no string. No, st oh, it's one piece of string. That's not gonna make me much of this, is it? How many am I gonna get? Six more. Whoopie do. Okay, I'm just gonna store this in here for now. So. Yeah, we sort of like historically started sort of uh, doing it like that. There was just the three of us on there. Then my son started inviting some of his friends along onto the server. We had about eight of us on there, I guess, at some point or another. And then after he moved on and my, my daughter moved, on and moved out and stuff and I moved out as well. And uh, we sort of changed location of where I live. I um, my com I decided that the computer I actually had wasn't very fast. There's a skeleton down there, isn't there? Yeah. Okay. And um, I found that the best way to actually deal with the fact that you've got a computer that isn't very fast is to actually have a server because the client side has, has only got to sort of do the rendering of what's going on and you haven't got anywhere near as much lagging going on. So having a server was quite useful for doing that. So your server taking the load of doing all of that aspect of the game. I'm hoping that's probably enough to um, get rid of the, um, the skeleton. Now, I thought, oh, that's a, I thought I could place that there. Maybe I can do it this way. Maybe I'll do it like that. Because I want it to go down. Can you make it go down? I thought I'd be able to make this go down. 
Maybe I can reach that block here. Yeah. There we go, like that. Then I can creep down here this way and just use the blocks like this. So yeah, so when I started deciding to set up again, I thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna run a proper server. So that's what I did. And I set myself up a account with a hoster to actually run my own server on. And I've invited a few other people, uh, my partner, Halo, now thoroughly enjoys playing Minecraft as much as I do. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I really should have built a shield for this. And um, yeah, so we both play on here and I'm trying to open it up so that other people might want to join in and play with, uh, on here as well. Go. Can you be a bit more specific, i.e. reason for moving out? Um, I, I can. I mean, I'll be blatantly honest. Um, I went through a divorce over the last few years. Hence why there was a sort of a, a change of circumstances at home, shall we say. That's about all I can really say, really, without giving away too much detail. I've got to get in here and uh, do a bit of bone crushing, the looks of it. I mean, it's not an ideal situation. Uh, I wouldn't recommend anyone going through a divorce, unless they have to. But the uh, circumstances came that that's how it was. And luckily for me, once I'd uh, left, or during the process of me getting my divorce, I actually met Halo. And uh, I'm incredibly happy now. I have many questions, however, I keep on getting lost in your story. <laughs> well, I'm quite happy for you to ask questions. I really don't mind. Um, most people can find out who the real me is on the internet by googling MonPJC. It's not a complete mystery. And um, but this is just you know my online name and my online persona. It's, it started out many many years ago using the name. As an online name to because uh, you just had to choose usernames when you went on the internet didn't you everyone's got to choose a username at some point or another and uh, it's amazing how your own personal name can be used by so many people there is only one one pjc in the whole world however there are many pools um, so getting pool.com is a little bit difficult getting mon pjc.com is dead easy. Oop. I really didn't expect to find this many mobs when I came down here. Gonna have to sort of like turn this into a little base area for my explorations because I'm running out of torches as well. So I need to go and get some wood. And so because this looks like it's quite a big cave system. Okay. Any more questions? I like questions. I definitely like having someone to talk to while I'm doing this. Makes my life a lot easier. Um, just so you know, I will be streaming until 9 o'clock. Uh, because I have a meeting planned at that point. Oh, this is all a little bit scary. It's like, ah! It's out of the way of the creeper. Where's my cats when I... Seriously, did I get anywhere near him? Don't think so. Hello Peggy, welcome to chat. Please try not to fall in too hurtfully. <laughs> Killed by the bot, yeah that's new. Um, yeah, sadly I've got uh, long comments restricted in there. So you'll just have to uh, like 
chuck out short questions. I do apologize for that. Right, so let's take a load of wood with us. What else do I need? I've got food, I've got wood. Uh, is that enough wood? That should be enough wood to go exploring, shouldn't it? I'll take the chests with me. I've got some more string. Halo as in the uh, symbol or the game. Um, so her username is Halo Phoenix. And I can't quite yet. Yeah, meow. There's there's cats sleep sleeping around here. They sleep on the beds as well. It's very weird. Halo used to play a game. And she said that there was um, something to do with Halo Phoenix. I can't remember. But the whole... Phoenix is sort of the rising out of the flames and the fire and stuff. I'd have to ask what it actually means again. Because I can't remember. I have failed you in answering a specific question. I think I'll make my to oh, I can make some torches here. Let's make a load of stick. No, I didn't want to make the sticks with the bamboo. I want to make the sticks with the loggy things uh, there we go I know how to play this game I'm not duck coal that's the other thing I need coal 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 that'll do just as a starter there's loads of it down there dodges need dodges there we go fan I had a question about men called Dave or Barry Hmm. I'm really not sure what that means. You have confused the streamer right now. Ah. Maybe you could try to get a bot that does not get rid of long chats and gets rid of people saying poo with 20 with 20 OSs. Um Oh. More, more stuff, more stuff. Uh, what don't I want? Uh, that. Thank you. So out the doorways, guys. It's way too busy. Yeah. So the bot is actually turned on to stop long sentences. That's just how it is, unfortunately. Um, I would prefer to keep that turned on because um, it was yeah the cat did it. Look, the cats. Look, one of the cats is having a snooze. Yeah? You're standing on the bed, Mr. Novice Butcher person. With the cats. Get that bit out. Get out the way. Oh, there's feathers and. Oh, I don't want the feather. I'll get rid of that somewhere else. Out the way, everyone. Coming through. Uh, by the way, it's just in case anyone didn't hear me the first time, I did not summon all those iron golems. The villagers did. They appear. Ah! They appear to be. <laughs> oh, bloody creepers! They appear to be creating their own iron army. Is the only way I can describe it. Is the coast clear now. Yep. Right. Fine. I'll go down here. Da, da, da. If I try to shorten the long question, I believe it will be stopped for spam. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's a just try and think. Oh, the cat's come with me. Just teleported down here like that's a normal thing. Uh, just sort of summarize your questions. Just sort of keep them short. I mean, if you've got a massive long question, then it's going to be difficult for me to to answer it to some extent. Are you right there, Puddy? Right, um, I'm going to stick that stuff in there because I don't need this for where I am now. Uh, coal can go in there. Got plenty of those now. I don't need the rabbit fur. The earth I'll keep on me. Stuff like that. Oh. Yeah, it does seem an awful lot of iron golems for the villagers. I don't know what happened. They've just gone absolutely crazy spawning them. And 
I don't understand quite why, but that's what happened. So just to explain, I'm down here because I heard loads of skeletons and I'm guessing that there is probably a skeleton spawner down there. In fact, when I came down here, there was a lot of skeletons. So they're probably spawning somewhere in this area. We'll just get a supply of coal, put that over here. Just build ourselves up a little mini base. Got loads of torches on me. Right, uh, let's go this way. This is where I started going. Uh, now the server isn't open to the public. It is uh, whitelist only. But I am open to the idea of people joining. That doesn't mean that you you can just turn around and go, ah, oh, can I join? That's not going to be the case. Um, I'm going to be like asking people to join that I get to know over a period of time and that I can trust. It's obviously a certain element that you're coming onto a server and you know obviously I'm paying for it and setting the resources up and everything and um, I don't want to... I really can't see there's going to be a spawner down there. Let's go back up and try one of the other exits from up here. All right, Puddy. Yeah, good. Glad you're happy. Now, what's down this one? Oh, a big lava. Mm. No, that's not going to be helpful. Definitely do a bit of mining around here. There's lots of resources. I have approached a few people at the moment to ask if they're interested in um, joining. I fancy going, but I can't play for like six days. I could help with an auto bamboo farm. Uh, I'm not that worried about an auto bamboo farm at the moment. I mean, there, there is very few of us on here. I mean, there's just literally two or three people who come on here at the moment, so I'm not that worried about doing a bit of the grind. I mean, Piggy will tell you from when he's played with me on servers that, um, you know, I don't mind doing the, the hard grindy bit. Now, hopefully, be interested, I'm interested to see what this creeper does now with the cat. Nope, that didn't work. You're supposed to be scared of the cat. That was a complete fail, wasn't it? Oh, missed. Thank you. Well, you didn't do your job, did you? What happened to creepers being scared of you? And running away? Didn't work, did it? No. Right, where do we reckon? Oh, this is a big, this is a big old tunnel, isn't it? Gonna have to find some name tags to uh, name these guys. I think we could do without the water source. Thank you very much. This is, uh, what do you reckon, Peggy? This looks very uh, sort of EFO style tunnels. Very sort of Swiss cheese, this sort of thing that Efo probably started out in. Oh, what's this? So we've got a ravine. Aha! That's not bad. Oh, uh, visitors. Um, I mean, basically, if I've got people in chat a lot and I'm seeing what they're doing as well. That's what I'm really looking for. I'm looking for other people that are building, you know, if I'm starting to follow them on channels, I'm watching them do streams and stuff. I've got a Discord uh, for myself, which I use for this server. Well, down there are you? Um, Just 
just have a plan for getting rid of you, mate. Thanks very much. Um, yeah, it's sort of just seeing how people play, what they do. You know, the people I have spoken to already are people who are already out there with channels, doing stuff. I mean, I know that sounds really hard, but I mean, basically one of the pieces of advice I was given, uh, were well, not given really, because I didn't actually ask the question, but I've followed a lot of other people that stream. And one of the things you hear so many times in their chat is, oh, can I join? Uh, what does it take to join? Uh, what do I do to join? And uh, how do you go through that process of deciding who's going to join? And it's really simple. It's basically down to the person or persons that owns the server to decide that they like someone and they can trust them enough to invite them in. Now, it might be that they're friends or they're friends of friends that invite them and stuff like that. And yeah, that does all seem pretty harsh and narrow-minded. And some servers do have application processes. Mind out the way, kitty. He's just gonna stand there and watch. No, no claw thing or anything. No. Is that actually a, is that a chunk error? Yeah, that's a chunk error. A visual glitch. I'm definitely not finding this uh, spawner anywhere around here. Really? Come here. Die. Thank you. Not going to waste too many more arrows in this area because I'm really not finding what I came looking for. I must have walked miles away from the where that spawner would be. Um, yeah, so the piece of advice I actually heard was, if you want to have a server with a load of people playing on it, like the one you're watching the streamer play on, why not set your own one up? And as a community, get out there and do that sort of thing. Now, as an example, I was asked by a group of people called uh, Dreamfire, I believe, whether I wanted to sort of join their server and they've got a real play, role play server. And to be honest, I'm not really a role play person. I didn't really want to get into the whole playing a particular character. I just like playing the Minecraft. So I did make friends with them and stuff like that. And I got invited in to play and to help with the beta testing and some of the other bits and pieces. And I had a look and I was very honest with them. And I said, look, I love what you're doing, but this is not actually for me. Now they've gone on and got a group of people together and built a fantastic server with loads of stuff on it. And I'm really impressed what they're doing. And they could actually become and have a really big server and other big YouTubers in that group because they've got loads of people going on their server and checking it out. And, and that's what I reckon anyone should do. And I'm not here to become a massive YouTuber. I like playing the game. If I can build a bit of a community around it who has fun as well, then all well and good. That was probably a really long answer. I can see why these streamers talk so much now. Uh, that's going to be dangerous, isn't it? Um, let's just... Wait to see where the wall's going to collapse on me here. Where'd the puddy cat? Let's do that. Uh, and do that. Out of the way, pretty cat, you're going to get crushed. Go. Uh, 
Uh, I, I don't know if you're still sitting there or if you just got bored with me chatting away there to myself. If you've got any other questions, feel free. Uh, what are we going to do then, Puddy Cat? Gonna have to think of a name for you. Any suggestions are welcome from people watching. This is your opportunity to name the cat. We could call you the stream cat. They'll be digging up the iron because I haven't got any at the moment. I've got a lot. And yes, I do have a ton of iron golems out there. But picking on them creates a bit of a fight. Gone. Where you gone? Do, do, do. Right. Uh, let's swap that around like that. Uh, let's have something to eat. Hmm. I'm not finding what I came looking for. Not great. Uh, that spawners round here. Around here somewhere. Where is it? It must be down below me. Ooh, sand up there. Where can it be? Where am I at the moment? Mm, quite near the centre. Might go... Oh, it's dark outside at the moment. Going to be more tunnels. That's going to be the key thing. So I wonder whether I've got to try and get past this lot. I can't see where that's going. Oh, bit of lag. See, even with a paid server, you still get a lag. Could be a right pain sometimes. Still can't see my way up there. This is where I start singing. Where's the Minecraft music gone? Normally the game's playing music. Careful back there, kitty. Dangerous out there. Scary world. And we're getting very close to this lava. guessing there's probably a source block of it. <sighs> what is going on here? Right, I'm trying to constant... Kitty, be careful. That's how to die, that is. Okay, mm can we do this. Let's build. I think that will probably go badly if I do that. Let's go this way. Don't walk in the lava, kitty. That'd be very silly. Yeah. You get very, you get very deaded. Do that. Oh, we've managed to cap it off. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. Who said the cat can go first? Jeez. Dangerous, like. It's like ninja cat. Uh, pop that in there. There we go. That'll get rid of it, wouldn't it, kitty? Yep. Uh, right. If I can join, I can make a Tesco. Why on earth would you make a Tesco? What do you What do you want to make a Tesco for? Have I come back to where I was? 
Yeah, I think we've gone full circle, kitty. Because there's nasty iron golems. Nasty iron golems? Nasty uh, skeletons up there. Come on, come on. Where is he? Did you just hit my cat? Did he hit you, kitty? Oh, look at that. Right outside the edge of the... Uh, the base bit. Like there's shops on the server. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I wasn't going to do shops or anything like that so much myself. I know loads of people like doing the whole buying and selling things. Guess I've watched too much like Star Trek. Too much of the whole like communal thing. Right, well there's definitely no spawner in that direction. Really disappointing. So I might just start staircasing down. I'll go back to where I came down. What you would like to sort of like make shops on a server where you can sort of buy and sell stuff. I do see the appeal. I think I'm just um it's one of those I think I've played so many games where you sort of there's a currency involved and you end up paying for things and other people are better than you and they end up getting the better stuff and I know that's how the world is. Look. But I think it's just nice to Minecraft is such a flat environment and it doesn't naturally come with an economy as such I mean yes there's emeralds and things but it's not really like some systems are like money in the real world yeah diamonds are normally a currency on servers and that's because you what you got to remember is all money is just basically tokens. It's a way of saying, oh, it's I've done some work and I want to be paid back for it at some point. And in the very old days, before money was around, people would have said, right, well, I've, I've done a load of work on digging some stuff up for you. I want some chicken eggs. And you get paid in eggs. Can I reach that from here without falling in the lava? And um, if the farmer didn't have chicken eggs to give away, he'd turn around and go, well, I don't have any chicken eggs, but I what I can do is I can give you a bit of paper that says, basically, when you want some chicken eggs, I'll give you some, like an IOU. And that's all money is. It's an IOU. A lot of the time, I, I don't know which country you're from, but the currency will often say on it, like uh, for the Bank of England, it will say, I promise to pay the bearer. So it's basically saying it's an IOU. Money itself is not worth anything. Didn't want to do that. It's definitely a cave system down here, by the looks of it. Let's do that one there like that. I'm going to find my way back up here again. Yes, kitty. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry about it. Got lava. Uh, obsidian down here. Can I make a tour of myself? You pretty much see most of it at the moment because it's only been up and running a few weeks, really. Oh, wow. Look at that. Well, that was fantastic, wasn't it? Well, we know there's lava down here anyway. Because it's like a big bed of obsidian. Yeah, poop. Um, yeah, the farm area is the only thing that's really been built on here so far. This is building it from scratch, starting again. Um, I've done a couple of worlds. I've probably run about four or five different worlds over a period of time. I 
Let's finish my coffee because that is getting very cold. Right, I could get back up there again now. Well, that didn't work, did it, kitty? We didn't find anything in there. Nope, we did not. Nope. We found materials, of course, which are all very, you know, nice. We love materials. But they're not what we wanted, are they? Nope. Come on, up you go. I will definitely do tours of the server, though, as I go along. Um, I've just been mainly doing streams at the moment. What I would like to do is get back to making episodes. So if you have a look on YouTube, um, yeah, there's been a link put up in chat for my YouTube. You'll see the various series of stuff that I've done so far. Season two, I thought was uh, I quite liked. Started getting the whole steampunk theme going, which is quite nice. Is the server really small, and is there like commands you can do, or is it totally just for now? It's actually a spigot server, uh, mainly because that helps the the computer server it will it's running to be much more lightweight and um, I'm just gonna have a look see where I am because I want to sort of decide if I want to go in a different direction um, I think I want to go yeah because the holes over there I'm just remembering where I looked at my coordinates where I was gonna go looking where I heard the sounds so we're gonna go down there torches need torches first put it sitting on the chest come on off off excuse me thank you who decided to add that into the game uh yeah so it's a spigot server which is technically a modded server however like many people who run modded servers in this flavor I don't run actual commands on here however I do use a good array of data packs which allow me stuff like um, graves when I die um, I'm OP so that I can actually do stuff. I have a separate account which I prefer to use for doing opt based stuff. And I'm going to very much try and keep this to just playing vanilla as you would see it because I think that's part of the joy of the game. And this is obviously very early on. I'm sort of trying to make sure I'm collecting every resource I can find. Yep, I know, Puddy. I've never owned a cat in real life. I don't dislike cats. I just don't find them that friendly and uh, affectionate. So the server you on, you will not move on to others. Um, oh, thanks for the sub. That's very, very kind of you. Um... No, I'm not going to move on to another server of such, if that's what you're implying, I think. I'm sort of hoping to sort of grow my own small community and give people a safe place to play and, and content to watch that they find interesting. I just enjoy doing the game. And if, other, if I can find other like-minded people like myself to come on and play, then uh, why not? How deep down am I? 33. Hmm. Right. Mm. It can't be that deep. Let's go up. You. Where are we now? 39. Somewhere around here. Right. Let's try going out. 
in a direction, straight line. So I heard them. Rotten skeletons out here somewhere. Oh, see a lot of people would just be going, ah, well, just go into like spectator mode and you can have a look see where the, uh, where the spawner is. I heard a load of skeletons, so I'm ex... So I'm looking for them. And that's why I'm looking for them, because I could hear them. So the way I've done it with, I've got player graves. So when you, if you die on here, all your items are saved by the server and a grave is placed in the world where you died. Aha, look at that. I knew it. I knew there was one here somewhere. See? See? You, d you didn't have faith in me. I knew there was a skeleton spawner here somewhere. I did. I knew there was one here somewhere. I could hear it up there. They were like ping, ping. All with the little noises and all that sort of thing. Yep. Vindicated. I am vindicated. I know you're in here. Uh, you could do that if you want, dude. It's quite handy, actually, because my... Pickaxe is dying. Come here. Come on. Come on, dudes. Give me some. Come on. Make me feel better. Now. Nah. Don't get in there, kitty. Get out. I only backed out for the kitty's sake, but I'd just like to say. Uh, but I like money. What do I mean? I think sort of... Ooh. People who just want to chill and be relaxed and I'm very much a people person. I'm, I, I like looking out for other people. And that's what I, I want to do as part of this. My pickaxe is going to break. I don't know how much I've got left on this. Um, we've got to sort them out, kitty. Should we go in from above? Yeah, let's go in from above. Are you hurt? You need some fish. So it was on this level. So one, two, three. Let's go up about four. Let's do some poke holes. There we go. Now, I don't want to... Det ah! Nasty boy. Did you see that? Kitty, don't, don't go up there. Don't do it. No, come on, back. Now, I don't think um, the spawner will burn if I put lava down there, will it? I think that's safe. Yeah, the keep inventory is good. I mean, I, I, by having the player graves, it means that someone's actually got to... Yeah, you're going to keep your stuff. But it means you've also got to do the hard work of going back and getting it. See, if I went in there and died, none of my stuff would despawn. But I've got to gear myself back up and get in there and get it back. Yeah. Yep. Which, kitty, means it's a bit more of a challenge. Which means you still don't want to die. So you might want to stay out the way of the lava bucket. Actually, kitty, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. And stay. Oh, really? Look, come down here. Let's see if we can get you over here. This way? Come on. Come on. You want to come over here? You know you do. That's a Come on, kitty. Right, stay there. 
Uh, can join to test out the server and you test me. I, as I said, I'm not going to put anyone on here until I am 100% happy that I know who people are. I'm really sorry. I know that sounds mean, but that's just how I do stuff. I don't hear burning skeletons just yet. They all run away from the lava. Where are you gone? Oh, that's cheating. You're getting up there off the floor. Like I said, dude, uh, what you've got to do is you've got to be creating content, putting it out there. Keep coming in my streams, chatting, supporting, stuff like that. That's what's going to get you noticed. Yep, you can come in Discord chat. I have no problem with that at all. But don't, as I said, don't come in with a view to say, oh, I'm doing this because I want to get on your server. Because, to be honest, you might as well just start your own server. It'd be far easier for you. Right, are you guys dying now? Die. There we go. Right, can I get in here and light this up now? There we go. Oh, doink. I mean, I have no problem if people are in my Discord and they've got a server and they want to like start promoting it and stuff. Don't mind a little bit of promotion, helping out new people. Oh, we're right on the edge of a ravine here. Ah! Who did that? I know who did that, that's a skeleton. Right, I found it. Oh, lots of goodies. Oh. Right, okay, let's, uh, what don't I need? What don't we need? Let's get rid of things like that to start with. Gold, 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 redstone, redstone, redstone. I do actually want the rotten flesh because that's one of the mods, a uh, name tag. <laughs> we can name you, kitty. We can. A golden apple. Right, uh, I, I, I tell you, the golden apple. Do you recognise the golden apple? Because it's not a normal golden apple, it's a special golden apple. This will see what your Minecraft knowledge is. Do you know whose golden apple that is? What we got over here? Oh, fortune free. Very nice. Uh, coal, uh, more rotten flesh, more string, diamond horse armor, mm, yeah, could be quite nice, I can't carry that, more string, the wheat, uh, the earth we'll get rid of, for now, melon seeds, I want the gem, anything else in there, not at the moment, okay, so I think this area is fairly secure, so, kitty, what we need to do is fix our tools and then come back here and start turning this into a spawner. Which is awesome. I'm really pleased with that's not the way we came in, is it? Uh, do, 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 do. 
Oh, that's interesting. Because the person whose apple that is has just posted a video. Literally this second. Is there two of you here? How am I going to know you apart? Oh no, I'm, I'm really sad now. I don't know which cat's which. Meow. Um, can I do a uh, data get uh, entity? Ah, I think it's that a bracket uh, limit. One bracket No, I've got something completely different there. I was supposed to be trying to get a cat. Hmm. Can I get um name? Name equal cat? Does that work? No, not found. I'm just going to have to stare at you and imagine that I'm remembering you over the other one. Because you seem to be the one that follows me. Yeah, yeah you're, you're my friend. Uh... Well, that's how a lot of people start out. To be honest, I mean, do you really consider me like a fantastic content creator? I'm someone who has come to this over years. Uh, 2013 I started, started playing this. I've tried to make videos. I've not been very good, to be honest. Oh, actually, this is really close. And it's just getting out there and and joining in and playing. Shortcuts don't get there. Some people are lucky. Unfortunately, that's what life is like. It really sucks that life is all down to luck. And I really wish it was different. And I really wish I could go out there and get the things I want and not have to, to work hard for them. I see other people get stuff and I think you don't value it. You just don't value it and you you know you don't deserve this stuff but to me that's what makes my stuff more valuable in a way because you know having my own server the computer that i've got now cost me um cost me a fair bit of money and but that's because i've worked it it's taken me years to get a computer of this spec and I'm really pleased with it. Other people will have got like parents that can just go out and buy stuff whenever they feel like it. Go, how oh, can you buy me the latest, you know, Apple computer or new PC to do my gaming on and stuff? And I'm not saying you're like that. I'm just saying that's what a lot of people are like. And you probably know people like that. And we just have to work hard at it. So I can't do something because I can't. Well, if you can't, what what can you do? Don't think about what you can't do. What can you do? I mean, I, I can't fly. I can't. I'm a bloke, so I can't have babies. Um, but what can I do? Is there other things I can do? I've spent a lot of my career being an engineer and I don't consider myself the best engineer in the world but I'm okay but I've really wanted to see people do well and I've helped people become really good engineers better engineers than I could ever be and that's primarily because that's I thought about what I could do rather than what I can't do. And that's a that's a really important thing to do. So many people go through their lives going, I can't do this, I can't do that. And 
it's a really hard lesson and if you can just take something away today from the stream it's you can do stuff you just have to find out what it is some people take a long time to find it is you might not be able to make content now i mean don't tell me how old you are i'm not going to tell you how old i am you can't do it right now but you can have that dream that one day you want to make content and that you want to do stuff so today play the game learn it understand it go out and explore what other people do watch videos watch people stream like i do what bits of information do you learn and uh contribute in people's chats in their discord and stuff like that be a supporter be there for other people encouraging them along helping them along you've you've helped me tonight because you've given me you know someone to speak to which is you know it's fantastic and i've really enjoyed that yeah i can understand that um your mum wouldn't do that it's really hard when you're a parent to uh, decide what your kids do and don't do i certainly know that myself having two kids i always try to listen to them give them options and all you can do is work within them realms i mean lots of time people have jobs that they're just not allowed to do stuff it's a pain in the butt i'm gonna get an anvil out of this something you don't want to do i mean i guess the analogy is a bit like going to school or college or university see my son has fantastic ideas about um being into physics and stuff he went he did stuff at, at school at college he learned about the different aspects of stuff and he went on to university now he's going to be 22 23 before he can go out there and even start getting a job doing the thing that he's really passionate about but he's learned about it and that's what will inspire people to allow you to contribute and join in with them is the fact that you're knowledgeable and that you've got that experience and you know anyone can just join the server you can go on the high pixel server and you can be one of the other 20,000 people um, that do stuff out there and, and play on there on that server but it's you've got to make your own way ask your mum what it is that she's she's concerned about is it your safety your privacy stuff like that look into those aspects being a, a, a youtuber or a streamer is you know the guys that do it full-time it's a job I help out a couple of streamers and I have no idea who they are because they keep their their ID completely private and they've gone to a lot of effort to make their environment like that and that's something you have to consider the safety on the internet is paramount it is really really important and that's why to some extent you don't let anyone just join a server or connect up because you know you're letting them get a little bit closer to you and also you know if I would be concerned about letting anyone join the server because of their permissions and the stuff that they've got about being allowed to join my server um how do i know or how do you know that i'm a respectable person at the end of the day you've watched my stream you don't know who i am you don't know what cut well, why you can probably work out what country i'm in you know very little else about me how do you not know that i'm just doing this to suck people in I'm not doing that most people can go out there as well i've got a very open uh sort of approach at letting people know exactly who i am let's get that fixed up so it's all done there we go 
So we leave the rest of it going. Got some gold in there we can melt up. I uh, don't need the rest of those blocks. Don't need my scaffolding now, do I? Anyway, we should be talking about Minecraft. It's the cool stuff. Fortune 3. Got Fortune 1 on there. As I said, you've got to show that you're someone that's worth being in there and contributing. That's all you got to do. Just be you. Don't try to be anyone else or anything different. Just be you. And I've gone completely the wrong way. So what stuff do you make? You obviously play Minecraft. Um... Do you play on Bedrock or do you play on Java? I'm from the south of England. Right, so the puddy cats are here. Ah, we can name tag one of you, couldn't we? Right. Coming in, Jamie. Have you got any names for cats? Have you ever had a cat? No names of cats. What can we call it? Do, 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 do. Let's go and get that name tag, and we're going to name one of these pretty cats. That'll be cool. Right, I have name tag. I'm ready. Uh. Well, yeah, that's all very good, you know, but how do I know you can do that? I'm asking you stuff. I'm asking you to contribute right now. Come on. Name for the cat. There he is. Good name tag. It's your opportunity here, providing it's something sensible. And not stupid cat or something like that. I've been calling you Puddy for ages. I'm not going to call you. Why have you got eyes different colours? Yeah, you're pretty, isn't you? Hmm? Could call you Rainbow. Snow? Uh, what else could you be? Let's make you sit. Get back on, on the seat there. Uh, Tinkerbell. Could call you Meow. Or I could actually just be really creative and just call you cat. What do you think? Uh, do, 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 do. It is very annoying. And one thing I will definitely say is that you've probably heard me playing so far. You've not heard me swearing. So I would ask that you don't do that. White juice magic cat. Dog. Oh, I like that idea. Dog. Dog snowflake. Mm, snowflake's a bit obvious. I like the idea of calling it dog. Nope, you can't be called dog. See? Mm, I'm going to go with that. Uh, do you know what I'm going to do as well? I'm, I'm going to be a little bit I'm going to be a little bit funny with this as well so just because you're contributing and helping out here what I'm going to do what do you think of this and I know there's a bit of a lag in the delay of, of showing stuff I'm going to call it Dog J after your first name Jamie uh, mainly because I think that way whenever I see this cat I'm going to remember it's called Dog and I'm going to remember the letter J as your name Jamie and that will stick in my mind I think that's really cool no I don't swear I, I, well obviously I do swear but I don't swear on here because I like to keep it nice and clean there we go Dog J 
Fantastic. We have our first name puddy cat called Dog J. And I'll always remember now when anyone says to me, why do you call your dog dog? Why do you call your dog? Why do you call your cat Dog J? And I'll go, well, there was this, I'm assuming you're a young lad, uh, a young lad or that came on and suggested the name for the cat. That's fantastic. Yeah, the difference is between Bedrock and Java. I keep going the wrong way. This way, Puddy Cat. Nope, you're a different Puddy Cat. They are a bit annoying for some people. I do know that. I've heard that. I've not played Bedrock as such. I installed it and I downloaded it because I've got a Windows 10 computer. But I did nothing more than that. You are not the chosen puddy cat. If I find another name tag, I'll name you as well. Right, what are we gonna let's take that out of my hands so I don't break it. So spawners. I've got about ten minutes before I need to go. So what I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna start prepping this area. Um just before we start turning it into our spawning area so we normally have about two blocks above the roof area here there is some interesting stuff that they've they've spoken about about how this works with the spaces above the spawner but we're going to need about four spaces down Uh, it's funny how you managed to like put that through and <laughs> yet you managed to swear <laughs> i tell you bots they're they're not they're not the most intelligent thing in the world oh bit of bungee on my um To remind me of the child no not to remind you that you're a child to remind me that you're someone who came into the stream and asked questions and wanted to contribute um and that's how you you start a relate ah that's how you start a relationship this is this is where you start by contributing and being part of it Go. And the cats are now going to sit on the box. That's very intelligent, guys. Right, so let's have a think. So I want to go down. So I'm just going to staircase down here. I think that's going to probably be the easiest thing to do to get the level under it that I want. So that's one, two, three, four. So I want to dig out everything underneath there down to that level. Means the cats are all going to fall down there as well. You're probably going to sit on the boxes up there, aren't you, pretty cats? Uh, the YouTube pop bot removed robot fighting vids for animal cruelty now well a lot of the time these bots are only based on what they see in the way of the words i don't necessarily understand the content they're looking at that's why there's the whole system of appeals because without appeals we wouldn't be able to go back to youtube and say ah your robot got it wrong and correct it and it's become one of those worlds where we remove stuff before checking it uh, rather than the other way around it used to be, which is uh, people complain when something was wrong and then you'd go and remove it. I'm really going to get upset if I accidentally break that. I mean, I've spent a whole stream trying to find this spawner. 
would be a right derp, wouldn't it? So the idea is, have you ever made a spawner like this, a skeleton spawner? Be interesting to know. Uh, yeah, I don't see why you can't add me on Discord. I don't see a problem with that. Get your head out of the block, kitty. Die if you do that. I've got the Discord channel. Um, that's what it's there for, so people can come and join in and chat. All right, let's put some lights around this to make sure it doesn't start kicking off on me. Um, where was it? It was about... Mm. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, even if you've just done it in creative mode, that's still fine. You understand the principles of how it works. So the idea is to get low enough, get a water source flow, pushing them over there. And we'll get the skeletons going away from us. And because this is... Oh, thanks very much for the tag. Um, I'll come back to that. When... Um, I lost my train of thought then. When the items are pushed over, because this is 1.14, we can use item elevators or water flow elevators. So we'll use some soul sand to push the skeletons up to a height where they can then drop and they've got one heart of half a heart left. And then it's really easy to punch them and kill them. Uh, I don't know what, I, I'm guessing you're possibly in the UK as well. That's just a complete wild guess. If you're about, then uh, if you have a look below you'll see my schedule because it says that i will be on again tomorrow at 7 a.m i know that's quite early for a lot of people but i stream from 7 to 8 i'm going to try and do that on a daily basis primarily because what i want to do is uh, get lots of content produced on my server and get this moving along there's me and the cat uh, you're in London. Yep. So if you're up at seven o'clock tomorrow morning, I will be here streaming from seven o'clock till eight. You're more than free to come along and watch. Um, I'm going to do that Monday to Friday. So I'm almost, I sort of do this pre-work stream. And in your case, if you're, you say you're a child or you're younger, uh, this could be your preschool stream. This could be something you're watching, having your breakfast before you go to school every day. Um, that'd be fantastic. Tell other people to come along. Get that community going. Uh, I'm also going to stream on a Tuesday and a Wednesday night around about 7 to 8 o'clock I start. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I am going away in a couple of weeks, but I keep people updated through my Discord channel. So, yep, thanks very much. I really hope to see you back here again soon. And keep playing Minecraft. Stick at it. Um, come and post some pictures of the stuff you're doing in Discord. Um, I'll set some channels up. Give me some ideas of things that you want to see. The other thing you can do while you're sitting there, I'm just going to do it right now. If you do, oh, I'm in the wrong screen. Uh, let's come over here into the chat. If you type points, then what I'm actually doing is showing people a way in which they can show some loyalty. It helps if I actually put an S on the end of that like so and you can see i've got because uh, i'm the streamer i've got a thousand and thirteen chunk points and i'm going to be using these to help redeem things like steam credit or special perks or different stuff like that and the other thing that i'm also in using in here is poppies which is this one and this one basically Again, I'm going to use these as a little bit of an in-stream, twitchy, currency type thing. Not sure what I'm doing with them. Leaderboards. More time you spend in here. These accumulate as you're watching the stream. 
So I hope to see you again soon. Uh, thank you again for dropping in. It's been a pleasure doing the stream. I now really, really have to go because I am going to be dropping into a meeting with some fellow Discord friends of mine. So thanks very much. See you again soon. Bye.